Hi, I'm Fox. Uh, I'm Reggable. <laughs> and you're watching the Two Smart Guys show remote. Ish. Yeah, it's always remote, like every other episode. Remote station? I don't know. Anyways, we bring you the latest, greatest hacks and mods and... For anything and everything under the electronic. And making cheap devices do things that they weren't originally intended. Yes. And such a te- cheap device is the HP touchpad. Yes, this now defunct device that you can get for the low, low price of $99 if you uh, stampede over the line of people trying to get one. Yes, (laughs) thankfully Pox braved that line for me. So we picked up a couple of these bad boys and we're going to do a few episodes on hacking them. Yes, the first one is of course unlocking the CPU. It comes stocked with a gigahertz Snapdragon. Yeah, it's a 1.2 dual core Snapdragon by default. And it does flash and like Job says it slows it the hell down. Yes. So, but we're overclocking it. Yes, one point <laughs> seven. You can go up to one point nine if you really want to, but it'll probably melt and disappear forever. So, all right. So let's hack this thing. Yeah. All right. Let's get to overclocking this HT touchpad. First thing you need to do is turn on developer mode, and this is really cool. Like old in the NES days when you're in Contra and you want to get infinite lives, you simply go to the URL. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. <laughs> and it enables developer mode. Now that you're in developer mode on your PC, Mac, um, just go ahead and download the WebOS Quick Install. And it's a little Java program. And so you run that, and then when you launch the WebOS Quick Install, it will uh, automatically download the appropriate driver for your system, Novacom. Right, and for me it only worked in Snow Leopard, for, yes. and it also works in Windows. Yes, I, I did it on my Windows laptop. Didn't work on uh, Lion for me. Yeah, so that's why I turned in. Yeah, uh, and then uh, then you install the Preware app. Yes, so using that application you load another application onto your touchpad called Preware, which is basically like Cydia for the iPhone. It's um, a Repository, collect- yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And then what you do from there is you add in certain feeds to that preware so you can load extra kernels that have been recompiled for the touchpad to unlock it. There's already there's already one in there that goes to 1.5, but if you want to go to 1.7, <laughs> yeah, you got to enable it, testing kernels. Yeah, so you, bleeding edge. You just uh, add it into the feeds and you do a search for FC15 Eagle, and then you've got a beautiful unlocked 1.718. Touchpad, or if you really, uh, you know, and the other thing too is that <laughs> if you really want to, you can go up to one point nine. Yeah, the other neat thing is that those kernels they list all the other modifications that they've enabled. Um, a lot of them, like the uh, Uber kernel, had um, quality of service enabled on or something, or some really fancy features for the Linux kernel. Oh, and then another big one, Governor. Yes, the Governor is what you want to get on there. That way, you can control. The crazy overclocking. Yeah, so after you've enabled that, then you load up Govna, which then you set CPU profiles for, and you just load up. Yeah, so you can have it drop down like two gigahertz if you're not, or two hundred megahertz. Or, yeah. No, two- See, well, it'll go <laughs> down that low. But what you want to do is you want to load a profile that gets put in there when you load that package called On Demand TCL fifteen twelve. That's not right. That should be seventeen eight. So you can set Oh up- god, I just I just underclocked it. No, <laughs> no. But you can no. set up a, a high and a low on what you want your clock speed to go depending on the demand load of the device. Okay, I'm going to one point seven two eight now. Try one point eight three six. Ba 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 boom. No. I'll stick with the this the safe one. Okay. There. I fixed my profile. Yeah. So um, so what do you think of the, the touchpad? Do you think it was worth $500? Oh, God, no. <laughs> do you think it's worth $100? Oh, yes. <laughs> $500 is, I mean, that's the realm of, like, I can get a new computer for that. Or, <laughs> there's so many other things I could do with that. But around the $100, $200 range, that's when you start getting into, like, these kind of consumer like So I've been playing, playing with mine exclusively for the past few days. Oh, oh, there's no iPad involved in this? No. Menage a no, no. And then, well, until today I gave up and I went back to the iPad. Oh. The iPad is really fast compared to this. Yes. Which is weird because this is a faster processor. Um, it's, Processors. That's WebOS. WebOS is inherently, I've noticed, clunky. Well, apparently it's also Snapdragon. Apparently Snapdragon's fast gigahertz-wise, but not as fast as A5. 
Hmm. Because A5 is actually optimized. Yeah, for... and it's apparently got a better uh, graphics processor. Well. Uh, well, I'd still like to see Android come to this because Android. It'll be interesting. A lot of people working on it. A lot of different yes. pro projects. Spa and apparently they've got a whole other warehouse full of these things that they're going to get rid of too. Wow, they didn't get rid of it the first time? They got everything that was out on the floor. Wow. This last weekend, and it broke, it took down their servers. Yeah, like, I tried to submit for the mailing list and wouldn't let me sign up for their mailing no, list. No, and like the order I got through, it, I had to try like half a day Sunday, kept going back to it, get the order through, and I finally got an order through, and it got denied. But it didn't say why. <laughs> and then on Monday, it's like, oh, we got it, but we're still processing it, so you won't get a confirmation for another couple of days. Weird. And I still but, haven't got the confirmation. Well, that's what happens <laughs> when e-commerce starts getting kind of, uh, you know, uh, what's the uh, overload on pinging and... Oh, a denial of service. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The denial of service attack from sales. Yeah. That's, that's a good reason to have a denial of service. And back up. I don't know. Just turn the roof back in. <laughs> you don't need to work it back in. No, just, you know, it's another segue there. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, um, yeah, our shows. Uh, every Wednesday night we do a live recording or a playback of one previously made. Or a whole bunch of us <laughs> in different locations hiding out from different people. <laughs> and then on Mondays we put out the full-blown episode uh, to smartguys.com. So please subscribe to the feed. Yep. And uh, you can follow me on at Walking Crow. I'm at Raggable. And Couch Guy is not present. He is... He's hiking. He's hiking? Uh, he's in the middle of nowhere again. Again? I don't know. He is this time. Him and his sabbaticals. I don't know. This is the first time we're broadcasting from the lair that Couch Guy's in. Has been in. Or no. Raggable's been in. There you go. <laughs> You've been gone too long. Yeah, yeah. You could look at the bars of my windows. <laughs> No, anyway. my light my nice white nothingness it's yeah, I'm, I'm an, an, an insane asylum in my nice padded room we'll see you guys next week bye this has been the two smart guys production 